Fortnite squad. Hey guys, and welcome back to the second installment of my advanced building tips and tricks. If you haven't seen my other video, I highly recommend you check it out, but if you've seen that one, you'll know that the building tips and tricks that I'm about to show are extremely advanced and difficult to perfect without practice. This video will also cover 6 advanced building tips and tricks, and for each clip, after I explain exactly what it is, how to do it, and why it's so effective, I'm going to put a clip of it being used in game or in a 1v1 by some of the best builders in the world like Thwaifo, Snood, Kazooie, Booga, and Mongrel. I urge you all to go and subscribe to them and I'll leave links to their channels in the description. I know you guys think I'm pretty good, but I'm telling you these dudes would absolutely clap me. These are some of the most insane builders and players you will ever see, so you should definitely go and check them out. But let's get right into it starting with a new way to outplay your opponents while they're building over you for high ground. I saw this trick originally from Kaizui, and what the trick is is that when you do a 180, you want to build 3 walls up like this. You want to do this when your opponent is a level above you and you're trying to retake height, because when you build that third wall all the way up, they'll be ramp pushing above you and then you can edit through the wall and cone them. From their perspective, all they see is the wall, but they think that it's theirs because they're just pushing like normally above you. But because you placed it so early while doing the 180, they're caught off guard and you can edit through and cone them. Make sure you flick your mouse all the way up so that you build the three walls on your initial jump when turning around, and then on your second jump, you can build a floor and ramp to go up through the wall. You can also do it in one jump by waiting to flick your mouse up and place the walls as you turn, but the point is that you get and claim their walls before they do, so you want to usually just do the normal 2 jump 180, otherwise they'll get the wall before you do. This is extremely similar to the Riley FN trick I covered in my other advanced building tips and tricks video where you preemptively place a floor and then you can edit through and cone the person on height, but for this trick you're doing it with a wall instead. We can see Kaizui use it beautifully here. The second trick I have is something I saw on reddit from user Carson C. After you get cone from your opponent or even cone yourself, you can just reverse your ramp and then keep building up for high ground. This is a great way to throw off the person who coned you as they will probably expect a double edit down if you just built over them, but instead you keep pushing and build up for height. You can also do this by reversing the ramp and then just pumping them in the face which they won't expect either. But an even more useful way to use this trick is to place a wall and floor beforehand, so as you cone yourself, you instead edit through both your ramp and wall and then surprise your opponent. From their perspective, all they see is your wall and they think that you built over them. Then you pop out of the wall right in front of them and get an easy shot off. The hardest thing about this trick is getting the edit down fast. You want to edit the ramp backwards and to the right so you have the whole left side of the wall to edit and then you edit through that because 99% of the time if you build over someone they will just try and build out to the right. I'm not sure who originally came up with this but I saw it from Ghost Nude and Kaizui. The third trick is the best way to get a shot off on your opponent mid build fight. You've probably seen this in some montages when the person comes out of 180 and immediately builds a cone in front of them and then a cone to the side. The reason pros do this is that so they have the most optimal angle to peek on an opponent who is coming out of a 180 or a 90. If they are to the side or in front of you, the cone gives you the extra verticality so you can get a shot off and it prevents them from also ramping above you if they're building in front of you. Compared to just putting a floor down or just trying to peek with a ramp, you can see it's a lot easier to get a shot off and duck back down with just a cone. If they keep building, you can edit the cone and keep building with them, or if they build under the cone that you had placed beforehand, you have a nice easy double edit to get a kill with. In this clip by Booga, we see he's constantly floor coning after his ramps to get a perfect angle and is able to edit them and keep building to keep up with his opponent. He then manages to get his opponent under the floor and cone that he places and can drop down on his opponent when the guy doesn't even expect it. And then here's some other examples of it by Booga. Fourth trick is a cool building trick I saw in Martos' last build fights video. As we can see here, Martos builds out of a 180 and sees his opponent still has height, so he does a standing 180 to turn the other way and double ramp back up. 
What makes this so nice is that you fake out your opponent by acting as if you're going for height through the extended cones that you just built, but instead, you do the standing 180 and then go out the other way. So as you come out of a 180 or 90 and see an opponent in front of you ready for a shot or just building up, you want to build a ramp and then two cones to block their vision of you, then do a standing 180 while building walls to your left or right depending on which way you turned, then look up and connect the ramp above you to the wall so you're protected with a double ramp. This is one of my new favorite tricks that will throw your opponents off as they wait for you to edit through your cone, all while the whole time you're just building back up for high ground. Second to last trick is something I've seen from both Mongrel and Thwaifo that's called the Thwaifo God Cone. If you don't know what a normal Thwaifo cone is, it's when you're double ramping up and you turn around, build a wall on top of the ramp, and then cone that. This way if someone is on your ramp following you up, they get blocked. The Thwaifo God Cone is to block people who are one level above that. So to do it, you start with a normal Thwaifo cone, then as you're turning around, you edit the cone up and then throw a cone on top of the one you just edited. This is pretty difficult to do, especially when catching yourself and keeping your momentum forward to build as you have to edit and get the cone off. This makes it pretty much impossible for anyone to follow you over your own ramp from any level. And just realize that this is different than Martos' trick that blocks three levels up because this is quicker but is also harder to pull off. In this clip we see Mongrel do it and he doesn't lose any momentum at all. Make sure you're jumping as you do the cone edit and place the cone. Then land on a floor and ramp to help you build up and keep your momentum. The hardest part, of course, is just keeping your momentum and doing it as fast as possible because if you do it slowly, it's not that difficult, but it's also not as good and you won't be able to get high ground as easily. Kaizui also took this one step further. What Kaizui did is after you do the God Thwaifo cone, you can actually go back and edit up through the first cone. So as you see, this is pretty insane and will take them off guard for sure. The last trick that I want to cover is the most advanced cone jump possible. By now, we pretty much all know the normal cone jump into double ramp. This is a good move to use when someone is above your level and you can get to their level and double ramp up. But when you're jumping, you're exposed for a second. A couple of months ago, I showed a trick that you could place a ramp before you jump so you're protected the whole time. And while this is still good, there's a better way now so that your enemies don't shoot out your ramp or follow you up it. I saw this from Ghost Nude, but what you do is you place a floor above the ramp so you're always protected. Then do your normal jump and double ramp back up. Make sure you're placing the wall above the pyramid or else it will place below and it will block you from jumping. We can take this a step even further. From the normal cone jump, you can jump and land on a ramp. Problem with this of course is that you're exposed the whole time, but you do go a level up quicker. So let's add it to the snood protected cone jump. First you run up, place the wall, then strafe backwards as you jump so you land low enough on your floor that you can place the ramp as you're landing. Then you could use the top of the wall that you just built to double ramp up. This is extremely advanced and probably the hardest trick to master, so don't get frustrated if you can't do it quickly. But this is easily the most protected and hardest to counter cone jump that you can do. Overall, these are probably the most advanced building tips and tricks out there right now. I know a lot of you are ready to comment, oh, but you would never use these in a game because, oh, they're too hard and it just wastes too many mats. But to counter your argument, I have to say that you can make the same thing for 90s. Obviously, everyone practices them now and they are useful, but you can definitely get by without them. The tips and tricks that I just showed should be used to take your game to the next level, especially if you're already a very good player. These advanced builds are used by some of the best players in the world, and as I just showed, they can definitely use them effectively in-game. Of course, the hardest part is just perfecting the techniques and knowing when to use them. That part, I unfortunately can't teach, but that will come with experience and practice. But like I said before, there's a reason the builders that I just showed are all pro players. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. This video shoutouts go to Chester L, 12 Hours, Fortnite Leaks, Abdermon, I'm Scout, Mason, Jedly, Lanzers, Dark Wolf, Bart G, Zarek Sama, Daniel Simmons, Walking Hero, and Felix Deckers, who all use my new code, Jarian, in the item shop. 
Remember that I'm going to stream on Twitch for the first time on Saturday at 1.30 p.m. Otherwise, make sure to go check out all the builders that I mentioned. And that's it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.